12 years ago, Americans came together in celebration of the death of 9-11 mastermind Osama bin Laden, the man responsible, of course, for orchestrating the ruthless deaths of nearly 3,000 innocent Americans. People gathered outside of the White House chanting USA, USA, and proudly holding up American flags. Take a look at this. USA! 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 But what a difference apparently 12 years makes. Fast forward to today and the terrorist leader's vile letter to America where he justifies the September 11th terror attacks and condemns the United States for its support of Israel is going viral again. Now that Israel is at war with Hamas, some people are reading his letter and appear to be praising some of bin Laden's words all over social media. William Lajeunesse joins us live now with the details. William. Well, Tammy, what happened here in the last 24 hours is emblematic of something that's happening every day. Right or wrong, real or not, social media, especially TikTok, is transforming the national conversation. So here's what happened. A pro-Palestinian influencer discovered a letter written by Osama bin Laden 20 years ago on the web page of a British newspaper. She then posted a video saying bin Laden, the man responsible for 9-11, was right. Jews have no historical right to Israel and that he blames America for any and all violence in the Middle East. Quote, I need everyone to stop what they're doing right now and go read the letter, she says, because, quote, I'm going through like an existential crisis. Well, people did. Her video got 2 million views and 200,000 likes, with most saying they too feel angry, manipulated, and lied to by U.S. media and schools. The conversation then migrated to Reddit and Twitter, with hundreds of thousands commenting and posting similar views. Yet most of these videos offer zero context on bin Laden, 9-11, or the beheadings celebrated by al-Qaeda. The episode underscores why congressmen like Mike Gallagher want to ban TikTok. These people are, of course, massive idiots. I just came from watching the footage that the Israeli embassy compiled about the October 7th attack. Mm -hmm. It is horrific. For someone on TikTok to somehow suggest that this is America's fault or that bin Laden, who killed thousands of innocent Americans, was right, is absolutely disgusting and further evidence that we need to ban TikTok. So here's one takeaway, Tammy. Americans watch three billion hours of TikTok every month. Fully a third get their news there. And the fear is this is how you're educating an entire generation. Yeah. There's no fact checking on TikTok. And 30 yeah. second video does not make foreign history lesson. Uh, it it doesn't. You. Thank you, William. You know, Dagan, I think, you know, they are morons, but that's not the fault of TikTok. That's the fault of, the, this is a generation since, since September 11th, 20 somethings are responding to this and it's because of the lack of education that, you know, at least they know their pronouns, right? But they don't know about this. Doesn't this show us though the, the kind of the void, the intellectual void, the emotional void, the morality void, if one TikTok video can sweep some young people into thinking, yeah, that's right. Pew Research just found out that almost one third of young Americans, 32% of Americans ages 18 to 29, get at least some news from mm -hmm. TikTok. But what an incredible advertisement <laughs> for uh, Gen Z. Hey, we're not just ego, e ego maniacal and <laughs> unmotivated and irretrievably stupid layabouts. We're also immoral and heartless and pretty evil. Yeah. Good luck getting a job, you morons. Yeah, this, this is this is the key, Jeremy. It, it don't would you agree that this is re really though beyond TikTok, TikTok that this is about the generation itself? No doubt. I mean, I, th I think it's part and parcel, part, part and parcel of the, what's going on is you have the Chinese Communist Party that, that owns TikTok that is using this to brainwash our children, no doubt. I mean, they're using their algorithms to make sure pro-Hamas videos are, are trending, to make sure this out, you know, pro Osama bin Laden is, is trending. I think they're mocking us. I think they're saying we can mm -hmm. brainwash your children right in front of you. I think that's, that's part of it. But the reason why it's been successful is because our kids are so obsessed with getting likes and being popular, wanting the social yeah. media clout. It is the highest good. It is their, their one aim is just to be famous on, on 
on yeah. social media that they're willing to go along with the most ridiculous trends, right. like praising Osama bin Laden in order for that. Let, uh, let me, and, and going to Emily, we, we know, and this is why we need more investigation into things yeah. like TikTok. There is some presumption about the degree of control of China. Yeah. You know, we can, we, we are connecting the dots perhaps in suppositions. But we really still don't know exactly about algorithms and how this is moving combined with, you know, the empty headedness of a certain generation. So, you know, that's why we need to look more into something like that. Emily, where do you think we go from here? Oh, gosh. That's the hardest question. I, feel like, seconds, I feel like I'm right? at like a, this universe pageant. World Peace. Yeah. Um, I, it's such a I, I'm overwhelmed by that question because this entire situation is so overwhelming. When you talk about sort of ascertaining and identifying the algorithms, to me, I just see that we are the product of a very deliberate machination that has been years in the making, decades in the making, and they are winning. We are at the behest of the CCP. We are at the behest of a socialist and communist movement that has had as its goal social agitation and civil and political unrest in this country, and they are succeeding. And the proof yeah. is in the fact that just one TikTok post right. posting a letter that we denounce that is disgusting that that somehow opens the eyes yeah. of our children. Shame on the parents, shame on this government. All right, Cassie, Something needs yeah. to change. Wrap yeah. that up for us. You know, I was at the White House the night that Osama bin Laden died, went down with my friends, and I think it was because we were the 9-11 generation. Everybody likes to give millennials a hard time, but those were our friends, that was my brother, our siblings who went and served. And God forbid anything happens to our country. But this generation doesn't know the firsthand effect of the consequences of terrorists that's right. on our country. And I think that's a really big problem, too, combined with all the algorithms and all the things that they're falling for, because they are too privileged. They know yeah. freedom and democracy. Excellent. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.